Welcome everyone, I'm Larry Ross and delighted to be with you here. And we've got a special guest. She has also participated in one of our interviews before, but this is a bit of a different interview. And Keturah Orji has had amazing success and we thought we'd kind of walk you through. How did you first get started? Why did you choose the long jump from being a gymnast first? Um, yes, I first got started with track and field. Um, after I quit gymnastics, I still felt like I was pretty talented, and so I decided to try out track and hopefully be a sprinter. My coach ended up putting me in long jump and triple jump. Did the fact that you wound up being a triple jumper and a long jumper help your coordination, the fact that you would have been a gymnast? Yeah, definitely. I think gymnastics set a great foundation for discipline. I feel like I learned how to work hard for many hours because I was a competitive gymnast, and it requires a lot from you at a young age and then just transitioning into track. I brought those same qualities, whether it's coordination or putting power into the ground or discipline and hard work. I core also, strength. Yes, core strength. I took that all from gymnastics and brought it over to the jumping events. Now, when you made the transition to track, it strikes me that you had confidence that you could do well from the discipline you learned from gymnasts. Um, I had more confidence from elementary school when I raced the boys. I thought I was pretty fast. <laughs> and so my confidence kind of came from like, oh, if I can race some boys, I'm, I'm sure I'm pretty fast. And you realize there are boys walking around, you know, near your neighborhood where you grew up that, that are lacking in confidence right now because you picked their tail. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> I didn't mean to, though. No, I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> but you gave them a lesson in humility at a good age, and that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Once you got involved in track and field, <clears throat> did the confidence grow as you saw yourself improving? What happened there? Yeah, the confidence grew as I um, learned more about the event. So I started out in um, sophomore year, trying it out, and I did pretty well, just basic, um, not knowing much about it. And then my coach kind of taught me more and more about the event, and I learned a lot of different um, qualities. Um, You're talking even. triple and long. I'm talking mostly triple jump okay. right now and that's when I kind of saw my progression come and I got involved with Project Triple Jump. Tell me about that. What was that experience like? Yeah, so Project Triple Jump was pretty much me um, going to... NSAF helping you with this Yes, project. NSAF um, would like send me to an another group of triple jumpers also to different locations and we get to work with different people that helped me learn more about the event. They kind of had us write down um, what we're, what we're working on, what we're eating, things like that. Just keeping us disciplined and focused and kind of promoting the event because a lot of people want to go to different events in track and field because they're more popular, but kind of promoting tri triple jump and what you can do with that. Now you started participating internationally at some point, didn't you tell us that? Yes. Um, so I made my first world youth team when I was a junior. Um, I actually didn't know anything about any USA teams, but Joy, after a meet one day, told me, um, oh, you should try out for this event. And I was like, what is We're it? We're talking about Joey Kamani, who was yes. one of our key employees, people here, who helped build the program here. Yes, yes, that's Joey. Um, and so I went to the USA tryouts, and I won, and I got to go to Ukraine. I was really nervous. I didn't really know much about it, but I had really uh, a lot of fun there, and I got a silver medal in the long jump and a bronze medal in the triple jump. Terrific. And then you were off to the races. Yes. The program really <laughs> helped you a lot. Yes, in, in so many different ways. I think the, the thing I remember the most about it is all the people I met that were also triple jumpers and us kind of watching each other and cheering for each other at events and then seeing us go to college and be success, successful together at another level. You've had a great career. You've done wonders and, and we're delighted to have been able to participate in some small way in the success you've had because you've become a great star and you're a great credit to the sport of track and field and academically you are a killer. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at a woman who is the NCAA Woman of the Year for her achievements in the classroom and what she's accomplished in track and field. Thank you for being with us.